Hey guys, gals, and everything in between, Raven here. Today's video is a short but sweet one. David Martinez versus the main character of Cyberpunk 2077, V. I will be using my version of V, a Netrunner knife slinging badass who also uses pistols and revolvers. I'd first like to look at David's power cap and strengths, as well as his weaknesses. His obvious strong points and feats. Beastly with the Sand Devastan, and he's ghoulishly chromed. Using the Arasaka Cyber Skeleton, he was able to crush a whole battalion with his gravity blast that was calculated at city black level at least. Able to somewhat keep up with Adam Smasher, note he- uh, you obviously know how this ended, like, right there. Now, a huge con for David, his cyber psychosis. He very frequently loses control and slips unconscious, losing all wits and tactics making him easy to counter and predict. He also has zero hacking skill. While he is gifted with firearms, he isn't trained. He relies too much on his Sand Devastan to win fights and engagements. Now, let's do my V build. The Blackwall Protocol Cyber Deck. Synapse Burnout, System Collapse, Cyberwar Malfunction, Suicide, and then obviously the Blackwall hack that comes with that. Monowire with System Collapse, Quick Hack. Now, my V's major stats, 20 Intelligence, 16 Reflex, 20 Technical Ability, and 20 Cool. Plus Johnny's Engram, Johnny's Skills, and the Relic Hacks and Relic Upgrades you get in Phantom Liberty. Let's go over V's best feats. Killing Adam Smasher, and if you choose to, kill Songbird as well. And Songbird's able to tank the entire Black Wall which is the most lethal thing of the entire verse and can basically cripple the entire planet. So let's compare how V deals with Adam Smasher with this build as this is exactly how the fight would go versus David. Now, a small win condition for David. If David can somehow catch V, he could tear her limb from limb. But a counter to that argument is the fact V can also dilate time. This time dilation is technically always active as well. The Karenzanakov is really strong, especially the strongest one in the game. Now, if we follow the tabletop game lore, the Sandy would have a higher initiative roll by one, but I'd just argue that means David at the start of the fight would activate Sandy before V could move but that wouldn't be enough to kill V or even catch V, as shown in the Adam Smasher fight. V would completely outspeed David in every possible way, overpowering his Sandy's inherent speed boost and mental awareness, or well, reflex amp. How I imagine this fight going? David tries to blitz V, V dashes and dodges out of the way, she activates her overclock ability, activating her hacking cue, she uses two cyber functions, permanently disabling one of David's cyberware, and momentarily, all of his cyberware. This gives V more than enough time to either use Suicide or Synapse Burnout killing David. But that's without using her weapons. If she used her weapons, she would obviously throw the knife or dagger or axe into his head and kill him. But yeah, I, I don't think there's really much of a win condition for David in this situation. Raven up. Peace.